a bulletproof vest. We're talking about the bulletproof vest today. And even though it's no fun to wear in the Las Vegas 110 degree summer heat, it is wonderful because it does protect the vital organs um, from most calibers of handguns. Um, the material it's made of is Kevlar. And Kevlar is like a, um, the material in Kevlar is kind of like, to give it an analogy, like a spider web and a bunch of spider webs all put together like spider web over spider web over spider web over spider web. So if somebody shoots a firearm and a bullet comes spinning out of the barrel and that bullet hits the Kevlar, um, it is going to hit all of those tons of analogy spider webs and it's going to go and almost stop. If you've ever tried to screw in a screw into a piece of wood that doesn't want to go into and it just kind of stops, that's what the bulletproof vest does. So you're still going to feel the impact of the bullet, and that's why a lot of officers will have um, bruising from it, but it's not going to actually penetrate it. Once obviously it's been used, um, or if you've been shot wearing that, a bulletproof vest, that's it, it's done, you get a new one. Um, to kind of explain how it works, I used to just, um, you have these Velcro, so I just had the Velcro undone, and then I would put it over my head, and then obviously tighten it. Um, we did lose um, an officer from my department in 95, 1995. Um, he was a really big muscular guy, Officer Elizondo was, and he had ordered a new bulletproof vest, but the one he had, had didn't go together all together on the sides. It wasn't big enough. And the bullet actually on his left side went through those seams and entered his aorta. So it's really important these are fit, and they're actually tailored fit. When they when I got mine fit, they're good for five years. They actually came out, and they do like a hundred different measurements. So it's made for you. They also have a trauma plate, and the trauma plate is located um, in the front. Um, so it's an extra little plate that goes in. And also, I would have my officers. Most departments have their officers. A lot of officers will carry backup weapons here or on their ankles. But also where the trauma plate was, an officer would have kind of an information card of if something did happen to him, who they want to be contacted, if they have a preference of hospitals, also blood type, religious preferences, things like that. All right, bulletproof vest. That's all we have for now. Um, and I will see you guys coming up. Have a great day.